Hey guys, welcome to Cherry Bomb Set 28, and I hope you enjoy this vlog, so stay tuned. Alright guys, so excuse the mess, you know, I've been really busy in the garage lately, so I haven't really had time to do a lot of cleanup, and with working a daily job, and then other stuff, life gets kind of busy, but I want to show you guys how to shift this B&M Z-Gate, um, the reason why they call it the Z-Gate is because of how it locks in each gear, um, but without further ado, this is for a 3 speed transmission, uh, so to get out of park, unlock, pull back, you are now in reverse. So from reverse, I can pop it into neutral. From neutral, I can pop into drive. Now, I can't get back into second from drive, but I can unlock and I can get to second and I can actually go straight into first. So, now, to shift up, if you have a shift kit and you're actually using this sh shifter to race, this is how you would go about it. Let me just adjust the camera a little bit. So, you do not need this lever when you're racing. You start in first gear, tap it forward, now you're in second gear, tap it again, you're in third, one more time, and now you're in neutral. As you can see, it shifts very easily. When I'm racing, usually what I end up doing is I really, I end up going, hitting it, but it is very easy to shift. You know, it's a little bit different when it's connected to the cable and everything, but still. Um, now, it does have a reverse lockout, which means that you cannot tap it into reverse. It will not happen. You're not going to break anything. Um, to get to reverse from here, you now have to unlock again. You can go into reverse and then into park. I did unlock one too far, but you can unlock again and go into park. So, that is how you shift the Z-Gate. It is very simple, honestly. Um, it takes a little bit to get used to, um, but it's it's a pretty solid shifter. Um, yeah, so there's the B&M Z-Gate.